superstitions, and a rational belief that an object, action, or circumstance not logically related to a course of events influences its outcome. This means superstitions is present in everyone's lives. Sometimes people believe them so blindly it lets them dictate their lives. On the other end of the scale, people ignore them and just get on with their everyday lives. We asked a few people what they thought about superstitions. Um, I don't really believe in superstitions, but I think that's mainly because I've never really seen proof of them being true. So, for example, I've never walked past a black cat and then had bad luck. So I think, in general, I'm just not a very superstitious person. I've never thought of myself as a particularly superstitious person, but thinking about it now, I do follow sort of the touch wood side of things. When you say something and you think you've jinxed it and you... Oh, touch wood and then you touch the nearest table. I don't do that because I believe it will bring me better luck. I do it because my mum's always done it and probably the rest of my family as well. We're not a particularly superstitious bunch. That just seems to be a habit that's been passed down through all of us. My view on superstitions is that I'm not 100% sure to be honest. Sometimes I think they work and sometimes I think they don't. Uh, purely because of traditions and I think more than anything it's what people get into your head. If you, if you think about a, a superstition then you, it's more likely to happen or have an effect on you because that's the way that you've been brought up or that's the way people have spoken about it. Um, I don't believe in superstition at all. Um, I don't think there's any scientific basis for it whatsoever. Um, and I don't think it's anything you can necessarily get scientific research for because it's more based on faith than anything else. Um, other than that, I don't think it can be proven or disproven as such. It's just down to whether you believe in it or not, and I don't believe in it. My view on superstitions is that they are true. A lot of them are true, some of them are crazy, but they're just called that because some people can't, they can't be explained, like put them down to coincidence or something. So it's just to try and make, yeah, like there's no magic in the world. That's why they call that. Um, well, I don't believe in superstitions personally, really. Um, I, I think that it gives some people comfort in, to believe in something like that. It's sort of like how religion works, except on a um, more personal scale, as in. It's not a big community, it's more like it's just what you believe in. So like the whole breaking a mirror situation and I've known people who just refuse to own a mirror because of that superstition really. There are some strange superstitions which come true when others thought otherwise. For example, the pilot of this plane that crashed close to an electric railway line near Southend in 1960 didn't die or injure anyone. He was wearing a lucky rabbit's foot charm at the time. It is still believed that the rabbit's foot is considered lucky, so superstition believers put two and two together and then put the pilot down as a very, very lucky person. I think some superstitions are quite strange. Um, for example, the, where you're not allowed to walk over three drains in a row. I've never really quite understand those, understood those kind of superstitions. And to me, they just don't seem to make much sense. I think some superstitions are very strange, especially one that I heard, which was opening a bag of crisps upside down will bring you seven years bad luck. I don't see how opening a bag of crisps has much effect on my life at all, really. Are oh, some superstitions strange? Yes, some superstitions are strange. Like, um, supposedly, if you have your ears pierced, it's supposed to give you better vision. I have only had my ears pierced for a few months, and I can categorically say that my 2020 vision has not changed since I've had them done, and I have not got now super eyesight. Um, some superstitions are very strange, uh, like not walking on the cracks of pavements, um, I don't quite understand that one. Um, I can understand certain superstitions like not walking under 
ladders or scaffoldings, potentially the stuff falling down, um, even not walking on drain covers, because there is a you know, statistic that they could uh, cave in and you could fall in. Yeah, some superstitions are strange, but I guess you could argue that they're all strange, but like throwing a money spider over your shoulder to give you, you know, good luck for money in the future, that's just strange. I mean, what is going to benefit from throwing a spider over your shoulder? I don't believe that. Plus, whenever I've tried it, it hasn't come true, so it can't be real. Well, one of them which I find strange is the salt one, where if you spill salt, you get bad luck, and to counteract you have to uh, toss salt over your left shoulder three times, and I think that's just ridiculous, really. <laughs> There are a few superstitions that people do not like to break. The most popular one is walking under a ladder. It is believed that walking under a leaning ladder would guarantee your own death by hanging, as the ladders represent the gallows. Another superstition that people don't break is the mirror. It is believed that mirrors is part of the soul and can see the future, so in breaking on the mirror, you'll spoil your future, hence seven years bad luck, and can potentially destroy your soul. Out of those two superstitions, most people wouldn't want to break a mirror because people are scared of the prospect of seven years of bad luck. I think there aren't really superstitions that I would, I really would always refuse to break them. But in general, I don't walk under ladders and I do tend to touch wood to avoid me jinxing things. But I think that's mainly either out of habit or just as a kind of safety precaution, rather than following superstition, just in terms of good and bad luck. I think if there was one superstition that I really wouldn't want to break, it would be breaking a mirror. I don't think it would bring me bad luck, but on the other hand, I don't think it would particularly bring me good luck either, and it is best to be avoided, probably from a safety point of view. Um, yeah, the superstition that I wouldn't break, I think, would be uh, smashing the mirror because that means that I'd have seven years bad luck and by the time it was over, I'd be 27. And that's quite a scary thing to think of. And it, that would freak me out. I, could, I couldn't be unlucky for seven years. I've already been unlucky for 20 years, so another seven would be even worse. So that's definitely a tradition that I wouldn't break. Superstitions I wouldn't break. Uh... There's not really many which I wouldn't tempt fate with. Um, I suppose drains, depending on what type of drain it is, I wouldn't walk across a drain, but that's not down to superstition, that's down to genuine concern. Um, and I tend not to open umbrellas indoors purely because I don't want to get the carpet wet. I wouldn't break the magpie superstition because, well, growing up, I'm going on walks with my dad, he would panic if he saw a single magpie and he would ask me to look and if, when I found it he would be absolutely relieved and I didn't really think much of it I suppose but growing up and walking to college one day I saw those single magpies on the way up and that was one of the worst days of my life so I'm not going to risk it anymore so I do make people look at it, even strangers on the bus, I mean people might think I'm a bit crazy but why risk it, I really believe that's real. Yeah. Well, uh, probably the mirror one, say, where you break a mirror, you get seven years of bad luck, because for starters, that's seven years bad luck. That's a lot of years to have bad luck for. And um, it's dangerous anyway, so breaking your mirrors, you, well, yeah, you get blood everywhere, or you punch it or something. After much debate and question marks, people are still unsure on the definitive truth on whether or not the superstitions are true or just in everybody's heads. We will now test our certain superstitions to prove or disprove the truth behind all of this controversy. Okay, so I'm going to try out some of these superstitions. I'm not really expecting to see anything happening. I'm pretty sure that at the end of this, I'll have as much luck as I did when I woke up this morning, but we'll give it a go. Gonna try out some superstitions today. Uh, hoping nothing bad happens to me afterwards. Don't really think it will, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Okay, so I guess I'm the most uh, superstitious of everybody. 
and uh, I hope that by doing this that no bad things will happen and I'll be proved wrong about superstitions and be told that they are a load of rubbish. After doing all the various tests on the different superstitions, I don't think I've had a particularly unlucky day or that my day has really been changed in any way. It's just been fairly normal, to be honest. Um, and I think, to be honest, that, that was really what I was expecting. I wasn't actually expecting my day to change in any way or for anything particularly unlucky to happen. After trying out the superstitions this morning, I don't think I've had a particularly unlucky day. I did manage to break a piece of my work, but I think that was more my own fault. I was quite distracted and talking to someone else. Some people might put that down to me trying out the superstitions earlier, but I'm still not convinced and I'm still not superstitious. So I've tried out the superstitions and um it hasn't really affected my day much. I went out and got a tattoo today and that was fine. It hurt a bit but I was kind of expecting that. And uh, it was quite painful to walk around but I suppose that comes with getting a tattoo. But other than that, I think my day's been fine and I don't really think the superstitions have affected it, thank God. So to conclude, after extensive research into the superstitions, it is evident that they are most of the time untrue and are just all in the mind of the individual. I believe that superstitions are passed down generation to generation. That is why even the most unsuperstitious person, if brought up with superstitious parents, will subconsciously do superstitious actions.